This is a video I'm making about a YouTube video that I saw about a woman being disgusted with a service animal being in a restaurant. She stated that she had her meal and she was disgusted with the animal being in the restaurant and said that she had a Yorkie at home and because she has allergies. First off, um, service animals are medical devices that people have and um, you also stated that you would like for people to um, um, be have our own uh, f f you would like for them to like build restaurants for people like us um, dear that's like segregation you just said like I wrote um, in the message below on your blog vlog that you just set Martin Luther King back because you are a woman of color and you're talking about us eating like in the back of the bus come on man get real that's just totally disgusting it's bad enough that some of us don't get out much because we have disabilities. We're not asking for much. People who have service dogs have mobility issues. Some of them, like me for instance, I'm going to speak for myself. Okay, I don't get out much. I don't go out to eat in fancy restaurants all the time. I don't go out to eat much at all. And um, my dog is a Yorkie. So, right away, she's not going to be a big old dog losing hair, like you say, you know. Service dogs are trained dogs. They will be underneath the table where they're not seen, they're not heard. They're not going to be eating off tables. They're not going to be barking. Um... They have many hours and years of training. And for you to say you want restaurants built for us, especially just for us, is ridiculous. I mean, you're going to have more videos? That's, that's insane. We're, I mean, that's just absolute, that's hate. I think you just need to um, educate yourself. Because you, you already know about disability. Because you stated it, that you feel bad that there's disabled people. And how, look, lady, just like I mentioned, that if I don't like when people were smoking when I was able and I didn't like it when somebody they were rude as hell they finish their meal they'll just belch and just take out their cigarette and just smoke that was rude as hell what could I do but get up and leave okay some people with disabilities they have mobility issues they can't I can't just get up I have problems with my hip. I can't move as fast. I can't. I'm in a lot of pain. You know, I can barely walk like normal people. It hurts. I'm in a lot of pain. And um, my dog is a, a a psychiatric dog. You know, I, I I haven't said it to a lot of people because you know what? I get I get a lot of assholes, and I've been teased, and and I'm sick of it because that is why I'm an asshole because I'm sick of it and I'm to the point that I'm sticking up for people like me I mean I did it for um for abused women I was an advocate for many years for abused women and I'm going to be an advocate now for the disabled because I don't need the abuse from from people 
I'll say it like you, people in my neighborhood that are assholes, people in my state, in other states, everywhere. People are just, I mean, people are mad. I mean, look at the president. He was an asshole when he was being elected. He was not nice, fat shaming. I was fat shamed. I wasn't a very nice people person because people were not nice to me. Well, two wrongs don't make a right, okay? I can agree with that. And um, I'm not going to be a, a mean dragon. I don't like being mean, but I don't like being pushed. And I think that it's my right to eat out and be treated like everybody else. Because not only is it my right, it's the law. George Bush enacted that law in 19... What is it? 1991, 1990. Um, and um, also, like I wrote, that it is also, if you break it, like for businesses, they can get fined up to like six months, which is not a very stiff fine because, I mean, these are corporations. They can afford the fine or, or they get like, um, they, they, have to donate their time or community service, you know, whoopie do. I was discriminated, you know, I didn't go and, oh, I got to sue because she discriminated against me. I went somewhere else because if they don't want my dog there, but that, can you think about it? If every restaurant is to make a sign that says, I don't want you here. And, and that's fine with me. I won't go to that restaurant. But if everybody does it, it's back, like I said, segregation. Nobody wants you there. Get in the back of the bus. You know, that's when you get the, the lady, what, Harriet Tugman, whatever, who, who she had, she got sick of it. She drank from, you know, it all goes to, to, to the roots there where you drink from the water fountain. You'll get in the back. You know, people are going to step, step up. And, um, because we all have rights and, um, I have rights and just like you have a right to eat at their restaurant, um, you're stronger. Um, you every day, you have the ability to go to any restaurant that you want. You can go to hundreds of restaurants, wake up, because you're not disabled. You understand what I'm saying? You're not disabled. You can just, like, whip up real fast and get up, and you don't have no mental problems. You don't have no physical problems. You don't, you know, you don't have no back aches. I'm not just talking about back. I'm talking about major, major, because these people are, like, they have, like I say, mobility um, blind, dead, hearing, like my dog, for instance, she's, she's my, she's my ears, she's, she does grounding work for me, she's my, like, like, what PTSD work, everything, like, she comes and she searches my house for me, and she fetches my medication, I mean, she does a lot of things, she's like, I have, like, almost agorab agoraphobia, where I don't get out. If it wasn't for my dog, I wouldn't be get, getting out at all. So, um, like, you know, I would make it my New Year's resolution to go to every single restaurant in this state if I had the money just to prove a point that my rights that it's my right to to go out and express myself it's my freedom this is my freedom of speech and i'm not saying that you don't have a right either everybody has a right you have the right to do what you want but you can also get up i mean you don't like you didn't like it when 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 black people were slaves did you no you know, I mean, that's just, that's just horrible. I mean, just give people a break. That's all, you know, I mean, I'm just saying follow the law. It's a law.
You know, when if Trump decides, hey, fuck the elderly, excuse my language, but if he says, screw it, um, forget the disabled, I don't care, we're going to get rid of the Americans with Disability Act, and, you know, you're, we don't care about you people no more, then you can put us, ship us all on an island with the lepers, then, then you can say, you know, we don't have no rights, but, um, right now, um, you mess with us, you mess with our, with our dogs, you know, we go mm, kissy sounds and being complete assholes. It's also a fine, you know, I mean, there's like, they're not being enforced because we're not pushing it. But if we take you to court, you'll get some jail time because mostly we, we don't like tying up the courts, you know, a, a real person that has a, um, a service dog is not going to mess with the, we're not the ones that you see on the videos pushing it to the point that, you know, you're doing invading my right. We're not doing that because we just want to be left alone. We're not out there trying to sue anybody. The people that are suing and the people that are doing these illegal um, lawsuits and stuff, some of these people are frauds. I'm not saying that all of them, but I know people that are supposed to be Christians that are complete liars. And I know things they've done that they're, oh, um, no, you're a liar. So don't be pointing fingers, honey, because you got like three pointing back at you, how that saying goes. And um, I'm just saying, don't be judging people because there's only one judge. And your video was very, very discriminating. And it was just horrible. And it was a Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving of all time. Look what they did to the Indians. I mean, God, you should have been thankful, lady. But no, what what are you what are you doing? You're complaining and griping, American greed. I bet you were one of the. I'm not saying you, but people are out there at the malls, spending and just spending every single dime. I mean, I'm, I've been guilty of spending a little bit myself, but that's just crazy.